R propane R290 heat pumps truly efficient than R32. Let's check some examples from theory and from practical part. As we already explained, R290 is natural refrigerant with low global warming potential below 3 and R32 is synthetic and the global warming potential is 675. Whole European Union is going into direction of natural refrigerants, so R290 will be main driver in next years. And we already also know that the main issue with R290 is higher flammability level, so we need to take care of safety zones. If we compare efficiencies, as we have with R290, thermodynamic properties, higher latent heat of vaporization, it means better heat transfer, and it means that we are working on lower pressures than R32. If we compare efficiencies, we have one study which stated that at 35 degrees flow temperature, R290 has 21% more efficiency than R32, and on 50 5 degrees flow temperature, it is 34% higher. So it means that higher flow temperatures, higher demand, R290 is more efficient. What is also important if, you, if we compare this data is that in colder climates, R290 could really be a big advantage. It means below zero degrees. If we have climate above zero degrees outdoor temperature, and on low temperature system, it could be that R32 is more efficient or it is similar, but we don't have still real world data to, to cover that part. As conclusion, in my opinion, if you compare uh, different cycles, for example, or different houses with R290, R32, I could not see big difference. The main difference is design, so huge volume, as we know, for heat pump but from refrigerant properties could be that R290 is more efficient because we are working on lower pressures, lower volumetric flows in the refrigerant part, and we have a higher latent heat of vaporization. Similar like we have glycol and water. With glycol, we need to spend more energy because we have different heat capacity than water. The same could be applied with R32 and r 290. Is R290 more efficient? The data says yes, especially for colder climates and high demand, but the right choice depends on your climate, infrastructure, demand of your house. Thank you for watching. Hope this video helps you a little bit more with some data and comparison and see you next time.